Donovan Mitchell has been linked to the Knicks for the last few years. The Knicks were supposed to trade for Donovan Mitchell, but unfortunately could not get a deal done. And even though they watched him get traded to Cleveland, even though he's been in Cleveland, the reports have not stopped. There have still been reports linking Donovan to New York. But now, unfortunately, in my opinion, the inevitable has happened. Another team, a significant division rival for the Knicks, has now appeared and seems to be a threat for the Knicks in order for them to get Donovan Mitchell. We're going to break down exactly who this team is and how much of a threat they are in regards to the New York Knicks obtaining Donovan Mitchell. All of this and so much more today. So be sure you're subscribed to the channel and have notifications turned on so you don't miss a second of the new content. And now, let's get started. The Brooklyn Nets are pursuing Donovan Mitchell out of all the teams in the NBA. The last team I wanted to see associated with Donovan Mitchell is the Brooklyn Nets. A division rival, a crosstown rival for the New York Knicks. Somebody that always gets some of the players or the stars that the New York Knicks should have got. You can go back to Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. You can even go now to Mikel Bridges, who you can make the argument is the perfect fit for the New York Knicks. But the Knicks and the Brooklyn Nets will never do business together. And now, the Brooklyn Nets are playing a hand, forcing their way into the conversation for Donovan Mitchell. And the New York Knicks have always been tied to Donovan, clearly because he wanted to be in New York. He loves the Mets, that's orange and blue, so he's always going to be linked to the Knicks for that regard as well too. And he even said in multiple interviews when he was back with Utah, before he got traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers, he heard the rumblings and he heard the reports. And when he went to sleep one night, he thought when he was going to wake up, he was going to be a New York Nick. He thought that was already a done deal. That's how close it was. So because it was that close, you got to understand that the New York Knicks are always going to be in play for Donovan Mitchell, especially if he becomes available via trade. But now they have heavy competition because if the Brooklyn Nets are available, they now provide Donovan another way to New York without having to don that orange and blue. Let's break down this report here. According to Action Network's Matt Moore, the Brooklyn Nets could emerge as a suitor for Donovan Mitchell if the Cleveland Cavaliers are unable to secure a long-term extension for the star guard. Here's his exact quote. Everyone expects and has expected Donovan Mitchell to leave the Cavs in free agency. There's conflicting belief about whether or not Mitchell has informed the Cavs of anything regarding his future. One name I heard from multiple sources to look out for if the Knicks can't get a deal done for Mitchell is the always star shopping Brooklyn Nets who have a plethora of assets to get such a deal done. The Nets would be a logical landing spot if the Cavs are resigned to losing the 27 year old in the offseason. Landing a marquee star in Brooklyn is the quickest path to contention and general manager Sean Marks has the pieces to make it happen thanks to dealing Kevin Durant to the Phoenix Suns. With this report coming out that the Brooklyn Nets are interested in Donovan Mitchell and could pursue him if the Cavaliers make him available, number one, it gets in the way completely of what the New York Knicks are looking to do and looking to build in New York. But not only that, it gives Donovan Mitchell another path to get to New York, a place that he's often seen in the offseason, a place that he's often tied to, a place that clearly he wants to be in. And if the Cavaliers continue to lose and they want to get back significant assets for Donovan, they can look to other places other than the New York Knicks. And clearly, one of those places is the Brooklyn Nets. And the Nets have first round picks. They have significant players. They have exactly the assets that a team like Cleveland would be looking for if they're looking to get rid of Donovan Mitchell. However, thanks to this report by Action Network indicating the Brooklyn Nets are interested in pursuing Donovan Mitchell, any of the Knicks assets that were on the table previously, even if they had discussions at some point for the Knicks to get Donovan Mitchell, all of those assets need to be reviewed again. Because if the Brooklyn Nets are in the table and they're in the conversation, then those assets the Brooklyn Nets have have to be reviewed as well too. And then it's going to come down to the best package available. Not the best package from the Knicks, the best package available given all the teams that are up in the running to get Donovan Mitchell. 
Now you have to add the Brooklyn Nets to that list of teams in the running for Donovan Mitchell. And because of that, you have to look at their assets. Now they're another threat. They're another obstacle in the way for the New York Knicks to get Donovan Mitchell. A player who I've said many times on this show that he needs to be a New York Knick. He is another key piece the Knicks need to have. Shot creator, bucket creator, gets his shot from anywhere, can space the floor. One of the best three-point shooters in the league. One of the best offensive players in the league. If added to the Knicks, would add and complement a backcourt in Jalen Brunson and create one of the most explosive offensive backcourts in the league. The Knicks could become a legit, absolute threat in the Eastern Conference if they're able to pull off a Donovan Mitchell trade. And honestly, right now, it looks like they're on the clock. Because if they wait too long or they don't get a deal or trade done fast, it seems like other teams around the league could pounce before the Knicks. And because of that, now the Nets can give him something that the New York Knicks only thought they could give him. Another route to New York. That's what Brooklyn presents. And that's why they're so dangerous. And that's why they're so lethal here. And Sean Marks, he's already made it clear in the NBA. If he wants a certain player, he's going to do whatever it takes, whatever he's willing to do to get that player on his team. And that's another reason to fear the Brooklyn Nets. They have the assets, the cap space, and also the players on the roster that make it attractive for Donovan Mitchell to want to join them. They are a threat and they are another obstacle for the Knicks to get Donovan Mitchell. If you guys remember the Carmelo Anthony trade, a lot of fans were wondering why the Knicks didn't wait till the offseason to go ahead and try to get Carmelo Anthony that way. Why did they go ahead and trade for him and give up so many assets in the process? If you remember, one of the reports at the time had the New Jersey Nets in the running in order for them to get Carmelo Anthony if the Knicks waited. So because of that fear and the Knicks wanting not to deal with that competition, they went ahead and pulled the trigger and made that trade to get Carmelo Anthony on the team. So this could be another way, another particular situation where the Knicks have to think about, do they want to trade for Donovan Mitchell? Or if the Knicks are going to want to take the risk and deal with other teams in the NBA who may want to get Donovan Mitchell as well too and offer him a great deal, a great package, and also a great environment to play in as well. So I think the Knicks have a lot of decisions to make and clearly they have competition for Donovan Mitchell. But they seem like their hand is being forced just a little bit here. And it reminds me a lot of the Carmelo Anthony situation. Whether or not the Knicks are going to pull the trigger on a trade is anybody's guess. In my opinion, because the Knicks are being run by Leon Rose, I think he's going to make the best deal and the best decision for the Knicks. If Leon Rose absolutely believes he can get Donovan Mitchell in free agency, then I think he won't make a deal for him. He won't make a trade for him. He will wait till free agency and then he'll try to get Donovan Mitchell that way. That's my opinion on that. However, if he thinks there's a realistic threat that another team can come in and swoop in and get Donovan Mitchell, he's absolutely going to be on the phone with the Cleveland Cavaliers to see what package it would take to get Donovan Mitchell on the Knicks roster. And once we're at that stage, I think for the Cleveland Cavaliers, at that point, it's going to be who has the best package or who's willing to give the best package. The Knicks, the Nets, or another team. And once that's considered, that's the team that Donovan Mitchell is going to go to. Because I think for the Cavs, they don't care where Donovan Mitchell goes. They just want the most assets back for him so they can go ahead and try to get more pieces to pair with Darius Garland, Evan Mobley, and whoever else they have left part of that team that they look to contend with in the East. Because once they get rid of Donovan Mitchell, they're not going to look to rebuild in my opinion. They're going to look to contend again just with another piece other than Donovan Mitchell. Who that player is for them, I don't know. But it seems like that's the course of action the Cavs are going to take if they make Donovan Mitchell available for trade. And in my opinion, given the way the Cavs are going right now, given the fact that they're losing and they're losing games that they should be winning, I think it's only a matter of time before the Cavs make Donovan Mitchell available. And if they do, I think the Knicks need to pounce, need to get on the phone and see what it's going to take to get Donovan Mitchell on the Knicks because that's the trade. That's the move the Knicks need to make. He may not be the perfect fit, but in my opinion, he would be one of the best fits the Knicks can make midseason. He gives you shooting. He gives you three-point shooting. He spaces the floor. He checks the box as a star. 
and he automatically locks the Knicks in as one of the top teams in the Eastern Conference. And I promise you, you don't want to see this Knicks team now, given how physical they are. Now add the physicality plus Donovan Mitchell. You want to see that Knicks team? You want to see that Knicks team in the playoffs? I don't think so. Leon Rose, Knicks, you have to get it done. Because if you don't, it looks like other teams around the league, teams like the Brooklyn Nets, could be high competition for the Knicks in their pursuit of Donovan Mitchell. So they might have to make a move sooner rather than later. Because if they don't, they may miss their opportunity again to add Donovan Mitchell to this team. But what about you guys? What do you think about these reports that the Brooklyn Nets are now interested in Donovan Mitchell? And do you think the Knicks should act on this report and make a move sooner rather than later for Donovan Mitchell? Let me know in the comments below, guys, because honestly, I would love to hear from you. But that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and smash that like button, leave a comment below. And of course, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Nick fans. Peace.